morning beautiful people of the world good morning it is tuesday uh may shoot what is today <clears throat> the 28th the 27th no the 28th yeah the 28th good morning to you all <clears throat> i'm trying to get my watch to charge <sighs> the thing won't work for the watch I don't understand. But anywho, good morning to you and you and you. I think some fly sunglasses, baby. I think I showed them to you all. I got these at the store called Akira. Girl, they fly. They fly. They are fly, baby. I think they was like $15 or something like that. They might not even been that much. I love Akira store for the jewelry um, hats, shoes, and sunglasses. I really can't find nothing in there for my plus size body, but I do like the store for the accessories. I go in there and shop for that. Well, you guys, I hope you all had a great holiday weekend. I hope you all did something fun. I just hope you had a good time and you were safe more than anything. Um, <clears throat> running a little behind I should have been in left but that's all right but um I had a good holiday it was kind of boring <sighs> kind of boring went to my sister's house on Saturday it was just it was just us it was just mediocre it wasn't nothing exciting look at this fool flying where are you going the light is red where are you going anyway um yeah so um it was just kind of it was boring I didn't do anything I was invited to a party that I didn't want to go to because it was too far to drive I just didn't feel like doing all that driving so I didn't go um what else I did get to see my friend on his birthday um and that was cool to see him because I hadn't seen him in a while so that was his first time seeing the house he came back kind of late on Saturday night and we had a long long talk and we talked and you know we laughed and you know I just it, it's just it is what it is with that situation but I did want to address something that was said to me on my video that I did Saturday when I was saying that you know I was still grieving him and there was a woman that got on and said stop and I didn't know what she was referring to so you know I have so many trolls on this channel um so I was like, stop, what are you talking about? You know, you know, be be specific. You know, I hate when people leave just a one word comment on my videos. You know, if it's something that you're trying to say to me, just say it. <clears throat> I can't read between the lines of what you're talking about. So then she came back and she said in another, not under that comment, but another comment, she said, you know, you are a strong, black, independent woman, you know, um, you shouldn't be, you know, still grieving over a man. Well, let me let me just address this for a minute. You know, I don't care how strong you are as a woman. I don't care how independent you are as a woman. Um, as a woman, there are times that I need a man in my life. Okay, I don't need a man for the necessary. I need a man for the obvious. I'll give you a perfect example. This morning about 2.30, the fire, uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yes, I'm still coughing. The fire, uh, you know, the fire extinguisher, the fire, your fire alarm or whatever, your, um, it, it was beeping. So the battery was low. You know how it'll start beeping when the battery is low. So now this one is way up in the ceiling. So you got to get on like a little step ladder or ladder to open it up. 
So I'm laying there and I'm going, oh crap. Christopher was not there. That's another story. And so I had to get up there on a step ladder, on the step ladder, hold on to the wall. I first took, opened it up with the broom handle. I slid the battery thing back and I got the batteries and I changed it and it was still beeping and it was saying fire and it was saying and now I'm like oh my goodness now my you know the alarm is gonna go off you know I'm thinking all this stuff to myself so you know I was just like oh boy hold on <laughs> oh, excuse me this cold has stuck around like crazy. So I had to do that, you know, and I was like, what's wrong with it? And it kept saying, press the button, the test button, right? So I was pressing it, but although I was pressing the test button, it was still going crazy. So I hit it again, and this time I held it, I pressed it and I held it, and it stop going crazy so also my friend had told me that I need to turn up my hot water tank in the basement he said because it takes too long for the water to get warm I don't know how to do that I'm gonna learn because when my other friend come over I'm gonna tell him to show me how to turn it up um, but there's a lot of little things that I'm learning about this house or just learning about whatever. You know, you can go to YouTube Studio and you know, YouTube, uh, not YouTube Studio, we call it YouTube University. And you know, YouTube University will teach you a lot about different things and how to fix things. And that's how I learn how to fix things, okay? But I'm just gonna say this. I know that I'm a strong black woman, okay? I know that I'm a strong, independent woman. But I'm going to tell you all this. I've been single a very, excuse me, a very, very, very long time. I'm tired of being single, okay? Do I enjoy my me time? Yes, I do. Do I enjoy being with me, doing what I can do when I want to do it and not having to, you know, consult somebody else about is it okay or, you know, do you want to do this with me? It's okay, you know, and I do know that being with somebody don't necessarily mean you're going to have everything that you want the way that, in which you want it and you can still be lonely. It's a lady that I follow on TikTok. She's an older lady and she talks about how she was married twice and both of her husbands, you know, um, did not give her what she, <coughs> what she needed and how lonely, you know, she was a lot. You know, she felt lonely a lot. And I've been there. I've been in situations and relationships where I felt alone. I was in a relationship, but I was still alone. I don't ever want to experience that again. I'd rather be by myself. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this camera right. But I'm going to tell you, as being a single woman for the amount of years that I've been single, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. I want a man. I want a relationship. I want somebody that I can call and say, hey, baby, can you come over here and do this? Hey, baby, this is going on and that is going on. I, I, I want somebody, okay? I do. I want somebody to share in my achievements and my accomplishments, like buying this house. I wanted to share that with him. You know, that was, that was something that I wanted to share with him. Now, if I didn't have a man in my life when I was going through this process, then, you know, it wouldn't have been so much of a big deal. But I did have one, and he wasn't there for me, the way in which I wanted him to be, in the way in which he should have been. And, and he admits that he didn't do what he was supposed to do and that he dropped the ball. But that's, enough, that's neither here nor there. That's, it's, it's over with. The house has been bought. I'm in the house now. You know, it is what it is. But the fact of the matter is, is that it, it's, it's, it's depressing when you got to wake up all the time and be responsible all the time. And there's nobody to lean on and there's nobody to say, you know, um, can you or will you or I need you to or nobody to just even offer and say, 
I'm here. You know, or, or to take that, that burden off for you about things that you as a woman don't want to have to think about. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you never miss something until it's gone. And I remember after my dad died, my mother, um, you know, was faced with a lot of challenges, you know, about, you know, in that house. And she said to me, she said, you know, I always thought that he didn't do this and he didn't do that. She said it was a whole lot that he did that I didn't even realize that he did until after he was no longer here. So we as women, we can make good money. We can run five, six, seven, eight, nine businesses. We can be the best, baddest entrepreneur. We can have babies, raise, raise them to be good people. We can raise our grandchildren. We can be caregivers of our mothers, fathers, sisters, aunts, and uncles, and husbands. We can do all of that, all of that, and then some, and still, still be a woman of faith and still be a woman who knows that God got her back. We can have all of that. We can have all the belief. We can have all of the the the, the power. We can have all of um, we can have all, we can have it all. But at the end of the day, at the end, when it's all said and done, and I heard Kate using that word all the time at the end of the day, but when it's all said and done, we are not to be in this life alone. And neither is man. What I mean, what was the purpose of man creating man and, and him creating woman? You know, a man was supposed to lead and we were supposed to be the helpmate. There's nowhere in the Bible, nowhere, 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 nowhere ever in the Bible where it says that the man is supposed to do it all. He was specific about what man was supposed to do and what woman was supposed to do. And that's why he sent Adam a helpmate so that he would have some help. <clears throat> And we know that men are stronger than us. Maybe they're not stronger than us emotionally or maybe sometimes mentally, but physically they're stronger than us. God gave them the, the ability and he created their bodies to be a strength. And this is why they were supposed to be out in the field working and, and, and doing that kind of labor work. Our bodies are not meant for that. I don't care how tough you are. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how much you know how to do or how you know how to do it. I don't care. You know, I don't care how many marathons you ran. I don't care if you know how to go to the range and, you know, shoot up the whole uh, panel. You know, I... I what you are is what you are. And what you are is a woman. And what you are is a man. And to think that we don't need each other, that's, that's crazy. Now, I understood what she was saying about, you know, you an independent black woman. And, you know, stop grieving. Listen here. I need to be held. I need to be kissed. I need to be loved. I need to feel a man. Because I like men. I like men. And I need to be held. I want to be held. I want to be kissed and caressed and made love to. My body yearns for that. Now, I don't know what you yearn for or anybody else yearn for. But I know what Cece yearn for. Okay? I like sex. I love sex. I love intimacy. I love romance. I love for somebody to make me happy and make me smile. I love to see a text message come through saying, good morning. Hey, baby. You all right? I, I need that. And I like it. So, yes, I'm strong. I've been through a lot. I've battled a lot by myself. I've had to take on things by myself. I've had to, I've had to do the best that I knew how to do 
you know, I'm a, not only am I a single woman, but I'm a single black mother raising a boy child in the inner city where there's more crime than most, you know? And I know that I'm a good woman and I know that I'm a good mother, but I sometimes I want somebody to take, take, take the load off. Sometimes I want to experience marriage and romance. I want to take on somebody's last name. I love my last name, but it would be nice to hyphen it or just take on somebody else's last name. You know, I want to make, I want to, I want to be romanticized. I want a man to bring me flowers, you know, or give me roses just because I love beautiful things. I love being beautiful. I love looking beautiful. So I, I know I understood what she was saying, but let me tell you something. I'm tired of being independent. I'm tired of being strong. One thing I can't change, and that's being black. One thing I can't change is being not being a woman. I'm a woman. I'm going to be a woman till I die. Okay? I'm going to be black when I die. But one thing I don't want to always be is strong and independent. I'm tired. I am tired of being strong and being independent. Now, I don't have a problem with being either or both or the same. If that means I got to deal with a motherfucker that ain't shit. If that means I got to deal with a motherfucker that ain't got no job, no car, no ambition, who weak. I don't want a motherfucker that's weak. Because when I, I need you to be strong. Because I want to lean on you. Because I got enough people leaning on me. <clears throat> Understand what I'm saying? I got my mama, I got my son, you know, that's enough. I don't want no, I don't want to take on nobody else's nothing. I want you to take on my shit and not take it on to the point where it's a burden to you, but take it on to the point that you saying to me, I got you, what you need. And, then, and let me just say this. It doesn't have to be in a romantic way because I have male friends that got me. But the problem with them is they got women. They married. So I can't call on them all the time because they married or they got a woman and they not my man.
with you in my motherfucking face talking about, you know, I, I need to get my car fixed. You think I can get, you can loan me $500? No. Uh, I'm getting ready to get put out. You think I can come sleep in one of them rooms and take the room in the basement? No. 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 And MFing motherfucking no. No. I've done that. All my life being in relationships, I've helped a man. I'm sick of that shit. I want a motherfucker for once to help me. I've planned things. I've everything we've done. I'm the one who planned it. I want a motherfucker to plan something. You plan it, goddammit. Surprise me. Tell me to pack a bag and we going somewhere this weekend. And I don't know where the hell it is. You be romantic. You be the go-getter. I'm tired of being the go and the get. I'm tired of that. So no, I don't want to. I didn't want to buy no house by myself. But what the fuck was I supposed to do? Stay up in a goddamn apartment for the next twenty years just because a man? I'm waiting on a man to buy a house with me. No. No, life go on. I wanted a house. I wanted a house. I did not want my son to continue to grow up living in an apartment. And let me say this, ain't nothing wrong with that if that's your situation. That was my situation for the last 18 years. But I was tired. I was tired of climbing them three flights of steps. I was tired of the slum landlord getting slummier and slummier. You know, I was tired. I was tired. I knew what I wanted. I have a lot of people at work today. I knew what I wanted. I knew what I wanted. And I started, I started making a plan to get what I wanted. Oh, can y'all see me over here? It's real sunny today. So, I knew what I wanted. You understand what I'm saying? I knew what I wanted. And... I went after what I wanted. And I got it. But that don't mean for one for, for one minute, for one for one little second that I didn't want to do this with somebody. I did. So as strong as I am, I'm very weak. I'm very weak. There's things that CC don't want to do. It's these things that CC don't want to deal with. But unfortunately, I have to because I have nobody that is on hand, on, on deck right there. You know, I have a lot of male friends who look out for me, who love me, love me, who will do anything for me. But as I said, the, a lot of my male friends, I've known them for 30 plus years and they're married and I have to respect that. And I do. You know, I, I do. Um, some of them are separated. Some of them are like in marriages where, you know, they've been married a real long time and the marriages is just, you know, but that's not my business. But I ain't fuck none of them. I ain't suck none of them. I ain't did shit with none of them. But they have my motherfucking back. And one in particular has my back all the time. And it ain't with me being bent the fuck over. With me being straight up. So, I understand what she meant. I understood what she meant. And I'm not offended by somebody saying, you know, you're a strong black woman. You shouldn't be grieving over a man. I'm not offended. But see, I don't know your story, lady. I don't know your story. See, you probably one of these women who've been married a real long time. So, you don't even understand what I'm going through. Married women don't get single women, especially those of you that's been married for over 20 some years. You really don't understand it. I'm 54 years old and I've never been married. 
See, there's a big difference between being 54 and having 20 years under your belt of marriage. I don't know what that feel like. I'm going to tell y'all a little secret, and then I'm going to go punch in. I'm 54 years old, and I've traveled all over the world, but I ain't never went nowhere with a man. No man has ever taken me on a trip, or either we put our money together to go on a trip. Never. Never. And when I tell people that, they go, really? I'm like, yeah. It's a lot of stuff that I've never done. I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm always the person that's late at doing stuff. Here I am, 54, buying a house for the first time. I'm 54, I've never been married. I was almost 40 having my first child. People had already had, by the time I had my child, by the time I had Christopher, I had girlfriends that was about to be grandmothers, okay, um, at 38. Um, I was the one that was, I didn't start driving until I was in my twenties. Um, most of my friends have been driving since we were 15, 16 years old. I've always been late to the party. Okay. I'm not saying that I won't get married, but I probably won't get married till I'm about 60. Real talk. Okay. Um, if, if I get married, there's a big chance that I will not. And I've accepted that. And the reason why I've accepted that and the reason why I've gone on with life and doing things the way in which I have done them and buying my home is because I'm not waiting on no man. Because, see, I've put my life on hold waiting on a man. And I could have been a lot further in my life had I not been waiting on a man. Okay? So... I do what I want to do the way in which I want to do it because I'm not waiting on nobody to bring me happiness. I'm not waiting on nobody to bring me a home or bring me a car, or bring me this. I'm responsible for my own joy and my own happiness. I'm responsible for me. And for however way I live my life, I'm responsible. But at in the midnight hour, in the morning, in, 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 in the special occasions, on the birthdays, the holidays, that's when I hurt. That's when I want somebody. That's when I want to really be with somebody. I ain't never even been with a man on New Year's Eve. Never even brought New Year's Eve in with a man. So, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you all mean. I understand, I get it. But I bet you, 99.9, .9, I bet this woman who said this to me, and I could be wrong, but I bet I'm not. Because I looked at her picture, and she looks, you know, a little older. Not old, but a little older. I bet you've experienced marriage. I bet you've experienced all the things I just told you I have not. I'm almost sure you have. So it's really easy to say that to somebody when you've already lived that life and when you've already had that life or been through that life. See, I hear a lot of women say, girl, you better off being single. And they got husbands. But I bet you, you wouldn't trade yours for nothing in the world, whether he get on your nerve or not. Because when you a single woman out here, And my shirt say, um, I don't know if y'all can see my shirt. It say, I'm single, but not as single as some, as some of these married people. Y'all see that shirt? Because um, married folks do act like they single. A lot of them, you know. <coughs> but, you know, but I'm, hey, but I'm single. Hold on. What's up? Not much. Good morning. How was your weekend? Okay. Good. Good. Tired. Yeah, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's the house. It's going good. Yeah. It's going good. Yeah. You know, it's little things I'm finding out. You know, just little things. You know. Yeah. 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 But I'm I'm happy. I'm you know, happy. Like a new car. Is a right. Car. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm happy. Okay. I'm, I'm getting settled in. Yeah, yeah. yeah low key here. <laughs> I know. I don't like too many people here. 
Huh? Don't look like too many people came to work. Well, we're early. Yeah, that's true. We're early too. A lot of people used to show up early. I know when we started, people already were parked here. I know. I now know. I think everybody's just like over it. They're yeah. Like, yeah. 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 You know, I just show up at this time because I don't want to deal with the freaking traffic. If I leave a certain time from my house, let's see if I leave at my house. I leave my house at six twenty-five. Uh huh. I'll get yeah, there like yeah. at at uh, six fifty-five. But if I leave the house at six twenty, I I get here like in ten twenty. Same 10, way with me. Minutes. I had yeah. yeah. It's the traffic. At a certain time you yeah. have to yeah. Yeah. You pass yep. the one minute and you yep. know you're done That's for. You have to rush. That's true. So that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. They're moving this guy out, huh? Who? Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry, yeah, guys. yeah. That's my co-worker. Man, he can talk. You cannot convince me that men don't talk uh, less than women. So, baby, these that I work with, they talk. But anyway, I was saying, I think I was saying, or talking about you know, um, I'm just convinced that people that say, you know, you strong or be strong or whatever, you know, you're a strong black woman or whatever. And, you know, I, I, all I'm going to say is, is that if you haven't ever experienced singleness as long as I have, all I can say is that you really don't understand what I feel. And then there's a lot of you on here that have never been married and you are old, old as old as me or older or the same age or younger. You know, but um, nobody wants to be alone. Nobody wants to live life alone. You want to be with somebody who you can experience in these um these moments you know you want to um and i know that i do you know i know that i do so um you know it's it's only so much you can do you know as a single person you know i enjoy being single to a degree but not all the time i would much rather have someone who was, you know, um, in my corner, you know, and was loving on me and I was loving on them and, you know, we were helping each other. You know, I would much rather have that. You know, I don't want to be alone. I don't. You know, I just don't. And the older I get, the more I don't want to be alone, you know. But I am forced to do the things that I do because... I don't have nobody, you know, and like I said, there's only so much you can do, you know, with a friend, a male friend, because he don't belong to you, you know, he don't belong to you, and like I said, I've known these men a long, 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 long time, and um, their wives know about me, but, you know, they also know I don't never step across that line, never. But you are very fortunate and very blessed if you are a woman who has a man in your life who is there for you and who does things for you and who treats you like the queen that you are. You're very, very blessed. And if you are that woman that has that, go one day without it and see how different your life will be. So if you have a good man, treat him good. If you have a good man who... Um, and he may not be the best at the best of everything, but what he is good at, you know, pump him up, you know, tell him how much you appreciate, tell him how much you love him, tell him how much you need him, tell him how much, you know, how hard life would be without him. You know, we have to let men know, especially those men that we know are doing the best that they can in the way in which they know how. Don't nobody know how to do everything, you know, but don't nag him all the time, you know, uh, you know, lift him up more than you nag him or more than you drag him, you know, lift him up, you know, because 
nobody is perfect you know and you're not gonna have perfect in anything but what he's good at you know or what what you know a lot of you women y'all don't have to worry about nothing you don't want to have to worry about i gotta check my oil up under my car i do that i pump my gas my brakes anything and i have to call me in and ask them what do you think about this or what do you think about that you know I want a man to do those types of things for me. Come put the lights and place on. You know, I mean, what's the purpose of you being in my life if you can't help me? Because there's things as a woman I don't want to do. I just don't want to do it, you know? So anyway, I understand about her saying, you know, you know, like you still shouldn't be grieving over a man. Well, you know what? I am. I am. I'm grieving because this journey that I went on was very scary and I needed some support from the person that I was with and I did not get it and that hurt me and I've told him that and um, I've been laying with you for nine months you know I wanted his support I just did and I'm not I'm proud of you or clapping for me no I wanted you to be there you didn't have to go to the closing you didn't have to do any of that but I wanted you to come and 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 check things out and say you good you know you you know yeah okay you know okay 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 you gonna need, you know what i'm saying that's what i wanted that's what i needed and i didn't get that so yeah i'm grieving i'm grieving in a lot of ways because my dad is not here <clears throat> um that makes me me grieve that makes me feel sad you know um i don't have no man in my life you know i just don't you know um, no man in my life that's my man, okay? But I'm grateful for the men that do help me. I'm grateful for the men who do reach out. I'm grateful. I'm, I'm truly blessed and I'm truly grateful. And I take, I don't take that lightly and I don't take that for granted, nor do I act like it's not a big deal because for me it is. So... That's all I wanted to say um, on that subject. Nothing, you know, negative to her or anything like that. You know, I understood what she was saying. Um, but you're not walking, you're not walking in my shoes. And you just don't, you, you realize, you don't realize, a lot of people don't realize I'm 54. I'm 54 and I've never been in a really good relationship with a man where I've had a man to really be there for me. I want to know what that feels like. I really do. And not from a male friend, but from a man who I'm, 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 I'm intimate with, a man that I'm having sex with, a man that I'm courting, a man that, you know, is supposed to be there for me. I want to know what it feel like. I just want to know, you know, and I mean a good, healthy relationship. You know, um, I've done toxic. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not looking to do that. And the reason why I'm single is because I refuse to do toxic. I refuse to do complicated. I refuse to do any of that. I refuse. I refuse. I'd rather stay single than deal with, I'm not dealing with baby mama drama. I'm not dealing with your exes. I'm not dealing with bullshit. I'm not dealing with cheating. I'm not dealing with none of that. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not. Everybody say, you got to deal with something. No, I don't. No, no. No, no, I ain't got to deal with nothing. Who I got to deal with is me. But anybody else that's 54 and above and you on bullshit and you still doing bullshit and you still playing games and you still got a lot of chaos and a lot of drama in your life, I'm not the person for you. So that's why I'm single because I ain't got to do bullshit. And I'm okay with being by my damn self in a space where I don't have to worry about nobody fucking with my feelings and messing with my heart. I ain't got time for that. If you a man who ain't on your shit, if you ain't about shit and you ain't got shit, you can't do shit for me. That's just the way it is. You know understand what I'm saying? I'm not with no man who cheat. I'm not with no man who broke. I'm not with no man who ain't got no car. I'm not with no man who living down in his boy basement, his mama basement, the cousin, the auntie, the aunt, the flea, the dog, the cat, the mouse or the rat. I ain't with that. I'm not with that. You got to have your own shit. Like I got my own shit. Because I'm not picking you up. I'm not dropping you off. 
This ain't where, this ain't no hotel, motel. I don't need no fucking roommate. You can't come lay in my house and stay and bring all your bags and shit. No. Because I want to come over your house and get in your bathtub. You know, so no. Uh-uh. So, if I got to be bothered with all that for a man or to have a man, just to say I got a man and deal with the bullshit, no thank you. No thank you. My life ain't on bullshit and I ain't finna take on nobody else's. So, you guys, happy Tuesday. I was gonna say Monday, but I realized that it's Tuesday because we had yesterday off because it was Memorial Day. Remembering those that served and are no longer here in, in, in remembrance. Um, I uh, pray that you all had a great weekend, a blessed weekend. If you have not checked out my last video, I'm putting up another one of that white dress that I, that I showed you all. But look at that Shein video and get me to a thousand uh, views. And I'm going to put up another video and then this video. Okay, you all have a great blessed day. And you know where I will see you, girlfriend, in the next CeCe's Fashion is My Passion YouTube video. God bless you. Have an awesome day. Why? Because you deserve it. Bye.